Hi everyone! So, just another quick video compar comparing two Inkylist eye creams. So, the first one, as you can see, I'm almost out of it. This is the Retinol Eye Cream. I already did a dedicated review on this one. But I just, I recently opened this one because you can see I'm about to run out of this one. So, I've been introducing this eye cream on my routine. So, I've been using this for almost three two weeks and i just wanted to do a comparison before i completely empty this one so both both of these eye creams come from inkilis which is an affordable skincare brand this one by the way is the caffeine eye cream which is very um famous it's very um hyped up and this one is the retinal eye cream so the same packaging price i think it's almost the same or almost the same price range and then they both also contain 50 ml of product packaging is the same so i'm just gonna compare the texture this one the retinal eye cream is it is for reducing visible signs of aging around eyes i don't really have a lot of um, crow, crow's feet yet thankfully so i can't really tell uh, much difference on the effects the, on the effects of eye creams but it's not it's not only for this one it's all it's for all eye creams that i've tested because for me eye creams and um, moisturizers and or skincare in general you will see the effect later on like after years so i'm just doing i'm just using eye creams just for preventive maintenance it's not really for me to correct eye bags or puffy puffy under eyes dark uh, dark under eyes or um, wrinkles because for me um, dark eyes can be corrected by sleeping better or maybe it's just genetics and then crow's fit that's just natural and then for puffy eyes i think that's also genetic or you just need sleep so for me eye creams in general don't really do the claims that they advertise it for but for me i still use eye creams just for a uh, preventive maintenance in for the future so that's it that's it for the performance i just don't believe in eye creams i'm just using eye creams just for extra moisturizing on on around my eyes so now on to the comparison the main difference since they almost look the same the main difference for me is the texture this one the retinal eye cream it's a little bit drier well it's not drying but the formula of this one is it's like um silicone um if you guys um have the so it's this one so you can see it's it's almost it's it almost feels and looks like a silicone primer think about the benefit professional primer that's how it feels so it's very silicone -y. and because of that it feels smoothing but it it even though it feels silicone it still sinks into my skin it it does not blur it does not do what the what, you, what the usual silicone primers do where they blur and sit on top of the skin. This one still sinks into the skin. But because of the formula, it's not really moisturizing, which it does not claim. It only claims to reduce visible signs of aging around eyes. And this one, it, it dries very quickly around the eyes because I, the formula, again, is not, it's not that moisturizing. So, in contrast to that, the caffeine eye cream helps reduce under eye puffiness. So, this one is more liquidy. This one feels more creamy, more gel-like. So, you can see earlier it was, it was like breaking because it was, it, it felt like a silicone primer. It felt like a silicone-based eye cream. Well, this one really feels like a moisturizer around the eyes and it also sinks it also sinks right into the skin but this one just feels a bit more 
this one feels hydrating compared to the retinol one. So because of the formula, this, the caffeine eye cream just feels more hydrating. As for the puffiness, I don't really see it um, reducing my, the, the puffiness on my, underneath my eyes. But then again, I don't really have puffy eyes. So there. If I am looking for a moisturizing eye cream, I would go for the caffeine eye cream. But if I want something really more targeted for anti-aging, I would go for retinol because from the name itself, it's a retinol eye cream. So it's really for anti-aging. But this one, it, it just is a good um, solid eye cream to moisturize my the area around my eyes. So will I repurchase these? I'm not sure. I'm not really picky on eye creams as long as they moisturize or they they I feel like they're doing something around my eyes. That's good. But if I have to choose, I would go for this one. Just because I feel like this one, especially if you live in dry climate, I, I don't. I live in a humid country, but sometimes this feels like it's not moisturizing enough. Like, yes, it might be doing something in the anti-aging area but i also need my 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 the area around my eyes to be moisturized so sometimes this one feels like it lacks moisturizing factors so i sometimes run over my under run over my eye area with my moisturizer on top of this one because this one just does not feel hydrating enough this one in comparison is very hydrating around my around my eye area and since I think, and since for me, what I really need is um, moisturizer around on my face to, to, to combat um, anti-aging, I would prefer to get the caffeine one. And I just really prefer the, the texture, the formula. It just feels more hydrating, more creamy, and it feels like how, how my other eye creams in the past felt. This one is an exception because this one kind of feels uh, like a silicone primer. But yeah, that is it, guys. If you guys have any questions regarding this too, let me know in the comments. But that's gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.